The concept of a zombie apocalypse, where a virus transforms humans into mindless, aggressive creatures, has gripped popular culture, from George A. Romero's Night of the Living Dead to modern hits like The Walking Dead in World War Z. These stories depict a world overrun by infected hordes, driven by an insatiable hunger for flesh. But could such a scenario unfold in reality? Could a virus trigger a zombie-like outbreak? Or is this purely the stuff of fiction? This exploration delves into the science of infectious diseases, the biology of behavior-altering pathogens, and the societal factors that could amplify or prevent a zombie apocalypse, all while maintaining a documentary-style lens on the question, could a real virus spark such a catastrophe? The zombie archetype, defining the threat. In popular media, zombies are typically portrayed as reanimated corpses or infected humans exhibiting extreme aggression, loss of cognitive function, and a compulsion to attack the uninfected. They are often created by a contagious pathogen, usually a virus, that spreads through bites or bodily fluids. To assess whether a real virus could trigger a zombie apocalypse, we must first define the key traits of a zombie virus. Rapid transmission, the pathogen spreads quickly, often through direct contact, overwhelming populations before containment measures can be implemented. Behavioral alteration. The virus radically alters the host's behavior, inducing aggression, loss of rationality, and a drive to infect others. Neurological damage. It targets the brain, impairing higher cognitive functions while preserving basic motor skills. Resilience infected individuals remain functional despite severe physiological damage, continuing to spread the disease until destroyed. With these characteristics in mind, we can examine real-world pathogens and their potential to mimic a zombie virus, as well as the biological and societal factors that would shape such an outbreak. Real-world pathogens with zombie-like traits. While no known virus perfectly matches the fictional zombie archetype, several pathogens exhibit traits that could, in theory, contribute to a zombie-like scenario. These include viruses and parasites that alter behavior, target the nervous system, or spread efficiently. Rabies, the aggression virus. Rabies, caused by the rabies virus, a Lyssa virus, is often cited as the closest real-world analog to a zombie virus. Transmitted through bites, rabies has a near 100% fatality rate if untreated and profoundly affects the brain. Infected individuals exhibit symptoms such as agitation, confusion, hydrophobia, fear of water, and hyperaggression, which could resemble the violent behavior of fictional zombies. The virus spreads through saliva, aligning with the bite-driven transmission in zombie lore. However, rabies has significant limitations. Its incubation period is typically weeks to months, far slower than the rapid onset depicted in zombie fiction. Additionally, rabies kills its host within days of symptom onset, limiting the window for transmission. A hypothetical zombie rabies would require mutations to accelerate incubation, enhance contagiousness, for example, through airborne transmission, and prolong the host's survival while infected. Such changes are biologically plausible, but would require an extraordinary combination of mutations. Toxoplasmosis, the mind control parasite. Toxoplasma gondii, a protozoan parasite, is another candidate due to its ability to alter host behavior. Found in mammals, including humans, it is transmitted through contact with infected animals, especially cats, or contaminated food. In rodents, toxoplasma manipulates the brain, reducing fear of predators and increasing risk-taking behavior, which benefits the parasite by facilitating its transmission to cats, its definitive host. In humans, toxoplasma infection is often asymptomatic but can subtly influence behavior. Studies suggest it may increase impulsivity, aggression, or even risk of schizophrenia in some individuals. Approximately one-third of the global population is infected, yet severe effects are rare. A zombie-like scenario would require toxoplasma to evolve extreme behavioral manipulation, rapid transmission, and widespread neurological damage, far beyond its current capabilities. Prions, the degenerative menace prion diseases, such as Creutzfeldt, Jakob disease, CJD, and Kuru are caused by misfolded proteins that induce neurological degeneration. These diseases lead to symptoms like dementia, loss of coordination, and personality changes, resembling the cognitive decline of zombies. Prions are notoriously resilient, 
resisting most sterilization methods, and are transmitted through contaminated tissue or, in rare cases, consumption, for example, kuru via cannibalism. However, prion diseases are slow to develop, often taking years to manifest symptoms and are not highly contagious. A zombie-like prion would need to become rapidly transmissible and accelerate neurological damage while preserving motor functions, a scenario that stretches biological plausibility. Fungal infections, the cordyceps connection, fictional zombies, such as those in The Last of Us, are often inspired by real-world fungi like Ophia cordyceps unilateralis, which infects ants and manipulates their behavior. The fungus compels ants to climb to elevated positions where they die, allowing the fungus to release spores. While no human infecting fungus currently mimics this level of control, fungal pathogens like Candida aureus demonstrate resilience and increasing resistance to treatments. A zombie-like fungal infection would require a pathogen capable of rapidly invading the human nervous system, altering behavior, and spreading efficiently. Current fungal infections lack the speed and behavioral impact needed, but their adaptability raises concerns about future evolution. Hypothetical supervirus. Could a novel virus combine the worst traits of these pathogens? A theoretical zombie virus might merge rabies aggression, toxoplasma's behavioral manipulation, and a highly contagious vector like influenza. Genetic engineering or natural recombination could, in theory, produce such a pathogen. For example, a virus that targets the amygdala, the brain's aggression center, while sparing motor functions could induce zombie-like behavior. However, the complexity of evolving such a virus naturally is immense, and even engineered pathogens would face biological and environmental constraints. Biological barriers to a zombie virus. Several biological realities make a zombie apocalypse unlikely. Viruses and parasites evolve to maximize their spread, not to create hyper-aggressive hosts. A pathogen that kills or incapacitates its host too quickly, as seen in zombie fiction, would limit its own transmission. Most pathogens balance virulence, disease severity, with transmissibility to ensure their survival. Moreover, the human body's immune system, combined with modern medical interventions, poses a significant barrier. Vaccines, antivirals, and public health measures can contain outbreaks, as demonstrated by responses to diseases like Ebola and COVID-19. A zombie virus would need to evade immunity, resist treatments, and spread faster than containment efforts. Challenges that no known pathogen fully meets. The resilience of fictional zombies also defies biology. Infected individuals in zombie media often survive severe trauma, starvation, and decomposition. In reality, the human body requires energy, oxygen, and functional organs to move and act. A virus that preserves motor function while destroying higher cognition would still face the limits of human physiology, with infected hosts succumbing to injury or malnutrition within days. Societal and environmental factors. Even if a zombie-like virus emerged, societal and environmental factors would shape the outcome. Modern public health systems, including the World Health Organization and national agencies, are designed to detect and contain outbreaks. The 2014 to 2016 Ebola epidemic and the COVID-19 pandemic demonstrated humanity's ability to mobilize resources, develop vaccines, and implement quarantines, though not without challenges, containment challenges. A highly contagious behavior-altering virus could strain containment efforts. If infected individuals became aggressive and sought to spread the disease, as in zombie fiction, traditional quarantine measures might fail. Urban areas with high population densities would be particularly vulnerable, as seen in models of influenza pandemics. Panic, misinformation, and infrastructure breakdown could exacerbate the crisis, mirroring apocalyptic scenarios. Military and law enforcement response governments and militaries would likely deploy rapid response units to contain outbreaks. Infected individuals lacking the supernatural resilience of fictional zombies would be vulnerable to conventional weapons and tactics. However, widespread infection in densely populated regions could overwhelm resources, especially if the virus spread asymptomatically before symptoms appeared. Environmental impact, the environment would also play a role. In tropical or humid regions like the Bermuda Triangle discussed in prior contexts, pathogens thrive. But extreme climates, for example, deserts or Arctic zones, 
could limit their spread. Natural barriers such as oceans or mountains might isolate outbreaks, preventing a global apocalypse. The role of science and technology. Advances in science offer both hope and risk. Vaccines and gene editing technologies like CRISPR could neutralize a zombie-like virus before it spreads widely. Conversely, synthetic biology raises the specter of engineered pathogens. A bioterrorist or rogue scientist could, in theory, create a virus with zombie-like traits, though strict international regulations and oversight aim to prevent such scenarios. Surveillance systems, including genomic sequencing and global health networks, enhance our ability to detect novel pathogens early. Artificial intelligence and predictive modeling can forecast outbreak patterns as seen during COVID-19. These tools make a zombie apocalypse less plausible, as early intervention would likely contain the threat. Cultural fascination with zombies. The zombie apocalypse trope endures because it taps into primal fears, loss of control, societal collapse, and the unknown. Zombies symbolize humanity's vulnerability to disease, war, and environmental crises. Films, books, and games amplify these fears, often exaggerating the science for dramatic effect. For example, 28 Days Later depicts a rage virus with an unrealistically rapid onset, while World War Z portrays zombies defying physical limits. This cultural lens distorts our perception of real pandemics. During COVID-19, some compared lockdowns to zombie apocalypse scenarios, highlighting the genre's influence on public imagination. Yet these narratives also inspire preparedness, as seen in zombie apocalypse training exercises used by some emergency response teams to simulate mass casualty events. Could it happen? A true zombie apocalypse, as depicted in fiction, is highly improbable. No known pathogen combines the rapid transmission, extreme behavioral changes, and host resilience required. Biological constraints, coupled with modern medicine and public health systems, would likely prevent a global catastrophe. Even a worst case scenario, a highly contagious behavior altering virus would face significant hurdles from immune responses to coordinated containment. However, history shows that pandemics can cause widespread disruption. The Black Death, 1347, 1351, killed up to 50% of Europe's population and the 1918 influenza pandemic infected a third of the world's population. A novel pathogen with zombie-like traits could cause significant harm, particularly if it emerged in a region with weak healthcare infrastructure or during a period of global instability. The zombie apocalypse remains a compelling fiction rooted in our fascination with the unknown and our fear of losing control. While real-world pathogens like rabies, Toxoplasma and prions exhibit traits reminiscent of zombie viruses. They fall short of the catastrophic potential depicted in media. Biological, societal, and technological factors make a full-scale zombie apocalypse unlikely, though localized outbreaks of behavior-altering diseases are within the realm of possibility. By understanding the science of infectious diseases and the power of human resilience, we can appreciate the zombie myth as a cautionary tale one that reminds us to stay vigilant, prepared, and grounded in the face of the unknown. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more content. Thank you.